Good morning. I just got a challenging case yesterday. Hospital acquired pneumonia in an elderly patient. Have you dealt with something similar lately? Morning. Hospital acquired pneumonia cases can be tricky. What specifics are we looking at here? So, it's an 80 year old patient admitted for a hip fracture repair. Developed symptoms of pneumonia about a week into the stay. Chest x ray confirmed it. Classic case. Did they start antibiotics prophylactically after surgery? Yes, they initiated CFTRAXONE post stop. But now with the pneumonia, there's a need to reassess the antibiotic regimen. Any suggestions? Given that it's hospital acquired, we need to consider broad spectrum coverage. How about transitioning to SPIM or meropenem to cover potential multi drug resistant organisms? That's what I was thinking too. And given the age, perhaps add on coverage for atypical pathogens. What's your take on macrolids or respiratory fluoroquinolones? Definitely a good consideration. Macrolids like azithromycin or a respiratory fluoroquinolone could be added. But let's keep an eye on renal function, especially with the fluoroquinolones. True, renal function is always a concern. I'm also thinking of involving the infectious disease team for their input. What do you think? Good call. They can provide valuable insights, especially if we need to fine-tune the antibiotics based on culture results. How about the duration of therapy? Current guidelines recommend a 7-10 day course for hospital-acquired pneumonia. On the INTA was the 10 day course given the patient's age and the need for adequate treatment duration. Agreed. And we'll need to monitor clinical response closely. Any other challenges or considerations with this case? Well, the patient is on multiple medications for chronic conditions. I'm worried about potential drug interactions with the new antibiotics. Valid concern. Let's run a thorough drug interaction check. And don't forget about reviewing renal dosing adjustments for our chosen antibiotics. Absolutely. It's always a balance between effective treatment and minimizing risks. I'll start the adjustments and reach out to the infectious disease team. Thanks for bouncing ideas. Anything interesting on your end? Just the usual mix of anticoagulation management and pain control. But hey, it's what keeps us on our toes in the clinical pharmacy world. True that. Let me know if you stumble upon anything exciting. Until then, good luck with your cases. Likewise. We'll catch up soon.